Hey, so here we are in this uh, good for nothing cooking series, uh, and uh, today uh, is about um, this ancient old recipe of how to cook uh, a banana bread, right? So we have our, our mix with the right consistency, right? Uh, which is ready for bread. Um, if, if you leave it there, as we've left it, because we were talking a lot and, uh, and, and doing stuff, it'll go a bit moist, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's ready for cooking and it's great. Um, and, and this happens because the, the mix starts working within itself, right? Uh, what we need to add now to the mix is anything you want in it, right? In the actual banana bread when you have it out of the oven, right? On the, on the, on the table. So, so basically you can put uh, raisins or dried fruit or nuts, cinnamon. Uh, what I usually do... Wait, this, this, this kitchen is a bit of a mess. I'll just move the stuff over here. Right? So let me... Uh, the kitchens should always be very clean. Uh, they get untidy, which is not a problem. Uh, it's like an artist's uh, studio, right, Where, full of paints and, uh, and, uh, and stuff all around, brushes, right. Um, but this is a creative uh, space, or a space for, for, for to get creative. And uh, it doesn't matter if, if it gets untidy or messy. It should. <laughs> and then you clean up, that's okay. Uh, so, basically, we're moving all that we don't need. Uh, on the side, so that we leave a bit of the. Um, I've got my thing there. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, basically, what I what I usually put in it is cinnamon. Uh, it could just go into the oven like that, right? But I like to 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 add cinnamon to it and. Uh, and there's two kinds of cinnamon. You've got ground cinnamon, like this, or you have uh, cinnamon sticks, like these, right? And what happens with, with the cinnamon sticks is that you have to use a mortar, like this one, right? And, uh, and grind the sticks into a powder, like this. <laughs> but cinnamon sticks are better than powder, unless the powder is really good quality, like this one, right? But, uh, but because Within, when they grind the powder, they, they grind uh, bark with it. So you don't usually just get cinnamon, you also get the bark of it. And that's why it's, it's less pure than just the cinnamon sticks. This is very good. Uh, so uh, today we're going to add cinnamon powder and uh, some uh, pecans, nuts. So I'm going to hand the phone to, to Charlie again. Um, right, yeah. and um, and he's going to help me because I need both hands again, right? Thank you, Charlie. Cinnamon. Uh, it's uh, whatever you want, basically. You want to sprinkle a bit over the, the mix, right? Yeah, and uh, I like to put quite a bit of cinnamon in. Once you have it in, you just mix it. Yeah, and then you just uh, you you see that the mix turns a bit brownish uh, because of the cinnamon, right? And then we're just going to add. Oh, this is open. We add some of the beacons, nuts, right? Because it's good to have nuts in the banana bread. And basically, you pick them up like that with your hands. It's good to cook with your hands. It's, uh, it's interesting. People use gloves and some kitchen utensils to get away from food, but uh, I believe that you should connect to the food. You should get really, really close and intimate with the food. Um, and, uh, and I believe that the intention when you cook gets into the food, right? And, uh, and then gets into the people that eat it, so, so you should, uh, I think the cooking is all about love, right, it's, uh, if you feel love, if you love the, the people you're, you're actually feeding, um, 
when you're when you're cooking and you're connecting with the food, you have a relationship, right? The cook and the food have a relationship. Um, then you put all that love into that into that process, and then the people who eat it, I believe myself because it's my experience, right? Uh, the people who who eat that food that you've prepared with so much love get the love, uh, apart from the, the the nice food, right? Which I believe also tastes better if you cook with that love. So. Sometimes people tend to try and separate themselves from the cooking, but I think that uh, that like this, right? It should uh, connect. Like when you, for example, make a salad, right? You just get the salad and break it up with your hands, and, uh, and maybe you use the, the, the knife to cut the tomatoes, but uh, but most of the, the stuff you just break it up, and and, and then some people. I usually what I do with the bowl and the salad is uh, I. I put the dressing and then I move it with my hands, right? Um, and obviously my hands are, are, are very clean, they've been washed. But uh, I think that that connects you to the people who are, who are eating the food. And, uh, and it's all about intention. So, so coming back to the banana bread, basically we mix it, we mix all the, the nuts in it, right? Once you've done that, you're ready to put it in the tin, right? If you have a tin that doesn't have a, the that, that's the non-stick um, product on it, um, basically what you need to do is get some butter, right? And get a piece of it. of this so that the, the cake doesn't stick to the bottom of it and to the sides, right? Right, once you have it there, put some, uh, some flour. People at this point use regular flour, right? I just use the self rising flour. Uh, mm, that's a loose. Which is good actually because the cake will come out of, of it really easily. Sometimes what you can use is something which is something <laughs> which is very useful. Not all kitchens have it, and it's this. Uh, just saw it in the corner of my eye. This. When you visit kitchens, you don't know what it's for, right? <laughs> Till you have to prepare something like this. Look at that. Just get it out perfectly. Thing that I usually do with uh, 
the banana bread is pitted right, with the back of your hand. Right? You go around and continue to hit it. Right? So the mix gets gets down, right? And it's and it will be a thicker bread in a way. If you don't want the bread, the banana bread, to be thick, right, and, and moist inside, and you want it to be more uh, bubbly, if you want, and more open, right, uh, as, a, as a bread, uh, and taller, maybe, you don't do that. You just leave it as it is, spread a bit, that's it. But I like doing this, because this gets the whole mix into, into a thick, compact, uh, state if you like